Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the demo of the graphical interface that I have created using Pygame and OpenCV. So here you can see the footage is live and you have the original footage, you have the grayscale, you have the edges and then, uh, okay, this is wrong. It should be color. So what we can do is we can change the color from these sliders and then we have some toggles as well. So this demo is intended to show you the different elements that we have within our graphical interface. So here you can see we have toggle. So if I click on the toggle, it will turn it on or off. As you can see, there is a sound as well. So you can set these images of when it turns on and when it turns off. These are basically images. So each one of these works and it works really fast. Then we also have these sliders which we can change and right now this is the U and this is the saturation values. So we will demo it with a purple color phone a toy uh, later on. But before we go there, I want to explain what exactly is happening. So we are running the OpenCV code at the back end, but at the front end we are using Pygame to display all of this. Part of this it can be utilized from the Pygame built-in functions, but these toggles or these sliders or buttons that you have seen in the previous examples, they cannot be done by default. So what we did was we created these classes. So this toggle is a class that we created from scratch. And now you can create instances or objects of these class that um, will allow you to add toggle to any of your projects. So it is very useful and literally you can use like two, three lines of code and it will give you the toggle. And then the same thing goes for the slider, the same thing goes from the button and all of this is uh, created with the mindset of scalability. So you can use this in any of your projects and it will be very easy and efficient to use and what we have done is we have written the code from scratch. So this will be part of the course, uh, the upcoming course of game development using a computer vision. So all of this will be shared. How exactly can you start writing the code from scratch? And not only that, you will be able to create a standalone file from this. So you can create this and send it to someone and they do not have to install anything and they can just open up this open CV and this Pi game file. So uh, this Pi game whole uh, project. So you will be able to convert it into exe or even uh, for the format of Mac so that you can open up uh, in Mac as well. So let's see how this works. So you have already seen the toggle buttons. Let's bring in our color. And if I move it around, you can see that it changes uh, we will keep it here and we will go back a little bit. There you go. And then we will remove a little bit more and it will become a little bit clear. And there you go. So right now you can see this is live and you can see that the color has been detected. So all of this is done simultaneously and in real time using OpenCV and Pygame. So using this method, you will be able to create your own projects and you will be able to deploy them for Windows and for Mac. So if you are interested in something like this, do check out our uh, computer vision with game development course. All of this will be shared in detail how exactly to do this. And hopefully I will see you there.